Increase the efficacy of your copper spray in the fight against bacterial blight with Antero EA. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine reporting to you here today with Jay Scheidt. We're at the, the Hazelnut Summer Tour by Nut Grower Society. We had a wet spring and it's Oregon so things can get pretty wet, right? So uh, one of the things that, that is accompanied by that sometimes is, is uh, some problems with root rot, whether it's Phytophthora or what some people are calling wet feet. And could you explain a differentiation or if it's the same and what growers can do to prevent it? Yeah, we had a, a number of different things going on. So this spring we had a lot of flooding from different rivers uh, because of uh, so much rainfall that we had. Uh, that brings up a number of different things. So root rot is one concern that we had at the time. Uh, Phytophthora root rot is something that we have found on uh, young nursery trees as well as some older trees. Uh, how prevalent it is, uh, we're not quite sure. There's something else that we've always seen, flooding or not, it's called wet feet. And so this is an area where uh, in your field, a, a swale or a low area where water uh, drains or runs. Uh, and in this area, you have standing water in the wintertime, things like that. In general, the trees will be stunted in that area. They never really uh, get to full size at all. Whether the two are related or different, uh, we're, we're not quite sure at this point. Uh, there are odds and ends of things that we can do uh, to take care of that. Um, well, first of all, if you have uh, these swales or these low areas in your field, uh, simply not planting there uh, will help quite a bit because <laughs> we don't need to have stunted trees uh, in those areas. So that's one thing that we have seen that in a number of uh, uh, situations. Uh, the Phytophthora root rot's a little different. Uh, I would prefer that you had a, a positive diagnosis of that. You can send that to our OSU plant clinic uh, for diagnosis. Uh, usually you have necrosis of the roots or the root crown, uh, the base of the trunk. Uh, those, uh, that's coming up from the bottom there. If it's coming from the top, that may be a bacterial blight, but if it's coming up from the bottom, it could be Phytophthora root rot. The, the plant clinic can diagnose that. Uh, again, uh, drainage will help, uh, improving drainage, putting tiling in if you have poorly drained soils. Uh, phosphorus acid based materials is a nut that's not, you have to be careful. It's not the fertilizer, it's the fungicide. Oh, okay. The fungicide's not, uh, doesn't give <clears throat> not you fertility same. and the, the fertility doesn't give you fungicidal action. That but would anyway. be convenient though. Right? <laughs> yeah, it would be nice <laughs> if that happened. Uh, but the phosphorus acid is something that uh, is systemic in the plants uh, and is effective against Phytophthora root rot. All right, so uh, yeah, obviously there's certain soils and areas you know the, that they can just avoid planting or maybe just you know if, if there's a problem spot, just don't plant there, and you go around it. So it, you probably better that, than just planting it. That's one way to do it. Yeah, uh, just looking at your soil maps and uh, making sure that you're putting hazelnuts on. Uh, well-drained soil will help too. Yeah. So thank you, Jay. Obviously, rain, weather is still going to happen, and there's not too much we can do about it. But good planning is always the the number one there. So thank you. Read more about hazelnut production in Pacific Nut Producer magazine. If you don't currently receive it, subscribe for free today at PacificNutProducer.com.